Now we have learned all the skills to convert percents to fractions and decimals and fractions to decimals and percent and all the combinations. So let's put them all together and complete this table. So the question here is complete the following table. So we have percentages, fractions and decimals. So if I say 33%, we need to convert it to decimals and fractions, correct? Now here I've given you 4 over 5 as a fraction. Convert 4 over 5 into percent and as decimal. Then we have a decimal number. You need to convert that decimal number into percent and fractions. So copy this table, pause the video, write down your solution and then check my solution, okay? That should help you and give you a lot of confidence. Now let's do it. When we say 33% and when we have to write it in fraction, write percentage out of 100. So we write 33 out of 100. That is the meaning of percent sign. Percent means out of 100. So 33 over 100. Decimals. Dividing by 100 means moving decimal two places, right? So here decimal is right there at the end. When you don't see it, it means it is at the end. Move it two places to the left and then you get your decimal number which is 0 0.33. It is a good practice to put zero before the decimal if there are no other numbers. I hope that's absolutely clear. Now let's go with 4 over 5. Now in fractions, it's better to use calculator. So when you have 4 over 5, you can divide 4 by 5 and convert it into decimals. So that is the first step. So as you divide 4 by 5, you get 0 0.8. So that is equivalent of decimal. So that is first step. Now, once you get decimal, then converting to percentage times it with 100. When you times it with 100, it moves two places. Decimal moves right. It has to be a bigger number, right? So it is one place gives you 8, another place gives you 80. So we get a number here, which is 80, and we have to always write percent sign for person. Correct? Now, there was an alternate way of doing it, and that is, Percent basically is out of 100. So what we can also do, right, which is not possible all the time. Sometimes the numbers will be very difficult for you to work with. So what it is 4 out of 5, right? So we are doing ratios. So what is it out of 100? So that is the question which is being asked. So if it is 4 out of 5, how much out of 100? That is the question. Now how will you get this answer? You can get it by multiplying this by 20, right? If you do 5 times 20, you get 100. So also times 4 by 20, so you get 80. So that is your answer. 80 out of 100 means 80%, and 80 divided by 100 means 0.8, right? At times, you may like to put a zero here. It depends. If we say to two decimal places, sometimes we say two decimal places, Okay, in that case, that zero is required, right? Normally, we use percent, fraction, decimals in currency or money problems. There, we are talking about dollars and cents. So, you need two decimal places, correct? So, that is an alternate way. But if I write a number where it is not so easy, use calculator, correct? Now let's get back to the third question, which is 0 0.56 in decimals. Now, when we have a number in decimals, then the best thing is write it as a percent by multiplying by 100, right? When you multiply by 100, it moves two places to the right. So we can write this as 56 percent. Is that okay? We have 56 percent. As far as fractions are concerned, we can always write this as 56 over 100. So let me write this as 56 over 100, right? So that is the fraction equivalent of 0.56. At times, you may be required to reduce this. Well, not in this particular case, but you may be required. Since both are even numbers, you can divide by 2 and then write this as 23 over 50, right? But it's not a must. 56 over 100 was good enough when we are converting 0.56 to fractions. But I hope with this, all the things have come together you know now exactly what to do when we are converting between percent fractions and decimals. 
So go through this video once again, try to understand the strategies. And then let's do some more problems on percents. Thank you and all the best.